Hi guys, so welcome to week one of Poet Spice's Kill a Kit collab. So um, if you haven't seen my um, Kill a Kit kit video, you can um, go and check that out. I'm going to link it below. And I'm also going to be linking all the other participants in this collab. Um, basically what it was is um, getting a kit together of all our scrappy supplies that we haven't, you know, used, you know, stamps, paper pads, embellishments, um, you know, ribbons and trims, such, such and such. So you put it together and then over the months of July and August, you um, create projects with that kit and um, every Sunday we're going to be posting a video of the projects that we made. So, um, I have linked everybody's channel who is participating in the collab in the description box below. Go by and check them out and subscribe. Um, so, this is the main paper pad that I um, have in my kit. I have um, some smaller ones and another 12 by 12 pad. Um, but this one I'm really, really focusing on. I, um, I'm hoping to create things for my um, craft room. Um, to put on the walls and stuff. So that's basically what I'm going to be using this paper pad for. This and another project, which will be my very last project. Um, so every week when I show you my paper pad, um, it's not going to be necessarily that I used most of it on that week's particular project. But as um, I'm working through these um, next few weeks, I'm going to be putting together a main project. And that'll be the very last video. So you'll, you'll be seeing this paper pad decrease but this was a brand new paper pad, um, 180 sheets. Um, it still had the stickers on it. it I haven't even used it. So this is, um, I'm starting to think maybe though, using a brand new paper pad with 180 sheets was a little bit ambitious. But, you know, like I said, this is week one. So we'll see what turns out. But um, it's the Barnwood Pretty by the Paper Studio at um, Hobby Lobby. And I just love the rustic... Um, distressed look of this paper pad. Um, the blues and the pinks and the um, they have some greens and they have yellow. They have purple. So what I decided to do is really dig into my stash and see what I had um, and try and use it. Um, everything that I'm going to be showing you today on here I had. I did not go out and purchase anything else. Um, I just used what I had. So, let me show you the paper that I used. See, I like that white one. Isn't that pretty? Okay, so I used this blue paper. Um, I don't know what pattern it is. I can't find the pattern. I may have already used it. So, all right, I'm just going to show you the project. I decided to make a um, ultra canvas for my craft room wall. And let me this a little bit and what I decided to do was uh, make some teacups I had seen a card on Pinterest and it was a card and it just had some um, like paper teacups um, sticking out of it and I decided to try and make the same thing more or less but on a canvas so this is like an 8x10 I just um, painted it the blue that's what my craft room is. I used that blue um, checkered um, piece of paper. I love all the distressed wood on it. And I ran some pearl trim all the way around. So I'm going to turn it to the side so you can see how dimensional it is. It is very dimensional. I love how dimensional it is. So that's the one side. And then this is the other side. So basically what I did is I used some of that yellow, um, the ye yellow rose. I took a sheet of that and I just kind of freehand cut a shape to make a teacup and then half of a, the saucer down there. And then I just put um, a little strip right here that was left over for the handle of the teacup. I put um, some flowers that I had in my stash right here in the corner, some pink um, seam binding. And I took some um, of those um, butterflies that Dollar Tree had last year. I had some in my stash. I only had like um, 
three or four left in the package. I think it was four of them. I have one more left, and I decided to use all of them. So that goes there. And then inside of this teacup, I have a pink polka dotted teacup sitting inside of it. So there's the handle for it. And to match with the um, pearl trim, I just have some a strand of pearls hanging out and a cute little um, bird. And I have some purple flowers that are sticking out right there. And those were gifted to me by um, Tina Kappa. She had um, granted my wish on Crafty Lori's um, channel. Um, I think it was like last month or something. And um, so I had those. And then on the top one is this really pretty um, floral. It's like white with little pink flowers. And here's some more of those um, purple butterflies. So let me adjust my camera here so I can show you the top one. Okay. So the top one is kind of like sitting like, you know how when you stack your cups and they may not sit right so they kind of teeter-totter teeter over. So there's that one. It's kind of teeter-tottered and I just have a bunch of flowers just cascading outside of it and down the sides. And there's the handle for that one. I love the way this came out and it's definitely going on my craft room wall. And um, I just love it. It was, I was kind of intimidated because I didn't have a template or a pattern for the cups, but it all worked out. And I think it's very dimensional and super cute. I just love the way it came out. And I love how I didn't have to distress anything um, because it was already distressed. I did, when I did paint, I did put some of the blue paint on the paper itself so it would just kind of blend. But there's that dimension. I love it. So let me know what you guys think. Um, and um, be sure to turn, tune in every Sunday to see everybody else's um, collab videos. And I will be having um, a couple of giveaways along the way. It just depends on what video I post. So be on the lookout for that. So thanks for watching, guys.